Hello and welcome, I'm Sim UK. This is House Flipper, and House Flipper have brought out a brand new DLC, which they call Pets DLC. Now, arguably, um, no home is a home without a pet, so I think it's a really good um, idea that they've brought this out. Um, I'm really interested to see what they've done with it. I hope they've done a really fantastic job. But let me just clarify before we go anywhere else. They have sent me this key to review it for you, and the key word there is review. If you expect me to sit here and promote something that's not very good, that's not going to happen. I'm not going to promote this just because they sent me the key for free. I will play this like a player, like you. If I purchased it, and this is the first time I've looked at it, I haven't played the game, I haven't watched anyone else play it. I know that there are some pets, obviously, and there are some new buildings and some new stairs and stuff, only because I loaded this up about 10 minutes ago and a screen popped up and told me that. Now you can see here, welcome to the House Flipper Pets, the latest DLC to House Flipper. You are playing a secret version of the game that may contain some bugs or changes compared to the premiere version or premiere version of the game. Have a lovely time flipping. So if you haven't watched my previous Let's Plays on House Flipper, I absolutely love this game, I really do. Um, I bought the big old mansion and I completely renovated it. So I have got $399,000 in the bank, which should be enough, I hope, to um, jump in and uh, do whatever we can do with pets. Now, as I've already said, I'm not here to promote the game. I am here to play the game and review the game honestly on how I see things, on how I see the gameplay um, panning out. So if I get confused and I get lost and I don't understand how to do something, then I want that to be seen because I want the devs to see that and hopefully they can, <coughs> excuse me, do something to fix it. Let's hope. So let's jump in to the keyboard. I can see here, uh, complete first pets DLC job, but I can't actually click on anything here. So let's go into mail. Okay, so um, normally when there's a DLC uh, job available, a little icon will appear on the right hand side. Like there's two gardening ones here. There's um, the nuclear bunker uh, jobs here, which I, I haven't really expanded too far into the game, if I'm being honest. Um, all I've done is that mansion and, and the jobs required to get me to the point where I could buy the mansion. Uh, so from, from this point, I am a bit confused. Uh, you can see my historic house here, just a very quick sneak peek. That's the gym, slash sauna, slash pool. That's the kitchen, dining room, kids bedroom, uh, master bedroom, hall uh, landing. And that is the second bedroom, I think, or ensuite perhaps, or the bathroom, I forget now. That's the house. I really did enjoy doing that, I have to say. It was absolutely awesome. Before and after. So I kept the pool. You can see I changed quite a few things. But yeah, anyway. Uh, that's what I've done before, but that's not what we're here for today. Here, we are here to do some pet-related stuff. I thought, I thought there was a dog there for a second, but no. Well, hmm. Map of jobs. We got one job. All oh, right, it's a brand new map with the train going through it. Oh wow, okay, cool. So there is, it seems, one job that I can do, but um oh, here we go. Stowaway tenant. Alice Finbar always wanted to see the world. After graduating from university, she decided to satisfy her wanderlust. Three years later, while on a remote trail, she found a hungry and sick bunny. He eventually became her travel mate. Alice has bought her first house recently. She wants to move in with Jesper the bunny, ASAP. Settling down would be something new for both of them. Okay. So, I mean, we, f we found it, but it wasn't exactly completely straightforward how to get to this uh, job so maybe they could do a better job of just highlighting how you jump into it I don't know 
maybe you just think I'm an idiot. <laughs> I don't really, I don't really know. I don't really care. Um, the fact of the matter is, we've got the job, and uh, I tell you what, that's a lovely house. I want. I would like to. I'm already. I'm already pushing the boundaries. I'm like, okay, so they've got dogs. They've got rabbits. I know they've got spiders and reptiles and all sorts of weird things. Um, horses. I mean, who wouldn't want horses? I'll shut up now. and driven a dog sled in Alaska, but house renovation is not really my thing. I've heard. No kidding. Do wonders, and I want my home to be one. Right now, it's in a worse state than Machu Picchu. It should be something more than just my base camp. A place I can work from, live in, rest, and have fun. Cozy and welcoming. A proper home for me and my bunny. I want him to be happy here too. Let's go out with the old and in with the new. Okay, stowaway tenants. Let's jump into this. So it looks like we're going to have to actually have quite uh, a big job here. This is not like a two-minute thing. We are going to be tidying up the garden, getting rid of weeds. I have to get the old mower out. It's such a good game. So I've got rid of 23% of the weeds. Let's just, let's just start. Let's just begin as we mean to go on. This is such... Ah, uh, do you know what? This is my... This is like my ideal home. But, you know, sands the, uh, the wood. What is that moving up there? Oh, it's pigeons. Okay. Pigeons up there. Look at the size of that butterfly. Crikey. It's the size of my flipping face. So we're at 59% of the weeds are gone. Let's just start as we mean to move on. Start as we mean to move on. And these are the last of the weeds. So we're just going to come out here. We're going to mow the lawn and it's going to look fantastic. I see a couple of weeds there I missed. 95%. Boom. 100%. Okay. So the garden... I think it's done, I don't know. But anyway, that didn't cost us anything. Let's take a look in the house. Oh my god, is that... A... Oh. I don't do poop. I do not do poop. What's that? Pee? Oh my god, we got poo and we got pee everywhere. We got... Why have we got dog paw prints in here? She's got a rabbit. Okay, well, we fixed that door. And th that is a lovely unit right there. It's a shame um, oh, you, you can see in it. But you can't open the doors. That's a bit of a shame. Wow, that's got to be the most useless room I've ever seen. I mean, what could you fit in here with the door opening that way? You could fit a very thin shelf there, and that's about it. I think so this is what this is what you're going to get in this video. I think one of the things I need to do is allow you to dictate which way that door opens. It shouldn't be opening in. I mean, if that door opened out, that's a great space for coats and shoes and whatever you like. But with the door opening in like that, that's a wasted space. Oh my god. Oh, you just uh, have to touch it with your hands and get rid of the poo. That's just disgusting. Right, so anyway, um, this is not a bad little place, is it? I'm loving that giraffe. That is such an epic photo. That's really cool. Okay, the bathroom is actually pretty solid. The bedroom 
is pretty decent. Very nice indeed. Let's take a look upstairs. So uh, we've got a bit of rubbish up here. We'll get rid of all that. That won't take two seconds. Oh, hang on. That says open. <gasps> what? Why is there a dog hidden inside a box in the attic? What is that all about? Right. I want to take the dog out of the box, but... Bugger off! Oh no, that's bird poo everywhere. And that's disgusting. Okay. So yes, um, let's just sum up the uh, DLC so far. There's a lot of excrement that you're going to have to deal with. Um, which, if, if I'd have really thought about it, makes a lot of sense. Of course there's lots of excrement. Um, <laughs> okay, here's another one. Why, when I clean the windows, can't I get rid of the cobweb at the same time? That's just silly. Right, I'm a bit concerned. What the hell's that? I'm a bit concerned about taking this dog out because I think he's going to run around, or she, is going to run around doing poops and pees everywhere uh, before I actually manage to... Uh... Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't... I don't do pee. I don't do pee and poo. I really don't. Which is weird, because when we got a cat, when we got our first uh, cat in, in our home, that was the agreement. My wife was like, I'm not touching any pee or poo or anything. And I said, no, I'll deal with it. I'll deal with it all. I'll do all of it. And I did. But I don't know how I did. Really don't. Oh, why is there poo everywhere? Oh, God. I don't know why that makes me feel so ill, but it does. Just a game after all, I mean, come on. I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. Oh, that's why there are footsteps. To lead you to the box with the doggy. Alright, let's get the doggy out. That's what we're here for, isn't it? That's what you all want to see. Why is there blood on the floor? Ooh, yay, yay, yay. Let's get rid of the poo. Bloody birds. Could do with a lick of paint, huh? Alright, let's get rid of all the mess. The start as we mean to go on. Come here, little doggy. Seriously? There's a dog in my house? That's what I said. I can't keep him for Jasper's safety's sake. But my good friend may figure something out. Okay. I'll tell him to get in touch with you. All right, thanks. How many legs has this dog got? Hi, it's Morgan. It Hi, Morgan. Like this puppy needs a new home. Yes, it does. Do you want to adopt him? Ooh. Should we adopt him, or should we just give him to Morgan? Oh, we've got to adopt him, haven't we? That's what we're here for. Great. I'm sure the two of you will get along in no time. Yeah. Check Morgan's pet care for tips or for more companions. Okay. Have a nice day. Thank you, Morgan. What's that thing on his head? So, I can place him? Oh, what's this? I 
cannot do it whilst holding something. All right, let's place him down then and see what happens here. Hello, cute little doggy. Uh, so let's, let's pet him. It seems to like that. Uh, let's give him uh, a treat. Oh, uh, how do I give him a treat? So I wonder if, like, um, the more you interact with them, the more... Pomeranians... Oh my god, it's a Pomeranian. My daughter would be screaming her head off right now. She loves Pomeranians. Pomeranians are a combination of beauty, intelligence, and willingness to explore the world. They're great travelling buddies. These athletic dogs are loyal and will make any animal lover happy. So personality traits of this dog are neat, energetic, a fussy eater, and a rascal. Let's do a casual tug of war. The pet is busy. <laughs> I beg your pardon. <laughs> the pet is busy. I'm sorry, the pet's too busy for you right now. Okay, fine. Uh, stay. Stay there. All right, let's have a look at this. Bunnies are very lively animals and need a lot of space to have fun. The best option is a free roam room, but sometimes they will be safer in a closed one, especially when we have other animals at our home or unsecured stairs. So I can build a bunny enclosure or a free roam room. I guess we're going for a bunny enclosure. Does she want it up here or outside? So she wants a Bexy bunny enclosure. I'm not sure if that's what I built, what I just grabbed there or not. Right, so there's, some, there's some more dirt in here, apparently. Get rid of the box. Uh, so she wants a sliding door there. Where's the dirt that I've missed? Well, it says there's dirt there. I don't even see it. Okay, that's a little bit random. But that's the dirt done. So, she wants sliding door robin. Let's go for a, a light colour. Nice. Okay. Now she wants the Bexby bunny enclosure, so that's the one that I did pick. Again, let's go for white. Gold on the metal. Bedding can be... Let's go for that. Let's go for the purpley thing. The bowl. Can't really see the bowl very well. go for beige on the bowl the roof I think the roof needs to have a bit oh that's nice that works that works the base it's not bad you know maybe that's a little bit in, less in uh, intimidating right I quite like that 230, my god, that's huge. Will it fit in that corner there? No. Will it fit in that corner? That's not annoying at all. Okay, um... I think that's pretty good. So the door downstairs only opens in, and the door upstairs only opens out. 
I really think they ought to give us uh, some options uh, regarding how doors open, personally. Right, okay, that's the first thing in. What else does she want in here? She wants the left corner... I think she'd like that best. And I assume, I assume, I assume, she's going to want to be very close to her rabbit. Crisscross coffee table. I can go there. Put the plant on top. Mm. I think that's too much white. That looks pretty cool. That does look pretty good. And we'll grab the desk lamp and we'll stick that on there and we'll rotate. So hang on, is this a real bunny? No, it's not. Okay. So the real bunny cannot go on the couch. That's a bit of a disappointment. Can he go up in the corner? Okay, that's pretty good then. We'll have him up in the corner there. So, like a pouffe, or a poof, depending on where you're from and how you pronounce it. Why are there so many lovely colours for the pillow, but not for the base? Really, I want that for the, the base, and then the pillow could be any colour. Hmm. God, that's huge. That is not a tiny little seat for the rabbit at all. Okay. Okay, so she wants a desk. She's going to want a table lamp. Oh, that's nice as is. No, no, no. Yeah, that's pretty smart. centralized if I can oh my god not even close not even close okay that's pretty nice So we go for Pufe number two. These are quite cool, actually. I would have one of these in my in the Sim Shack. I like it. I like it a lot. Obviously, we want an office chair. That looks nice. That looks nice. Okay. Is that 
that centralized? I think so. Oh yeah, this looks awesome. I think she's gonna like this. I like it already, I don't know about you. I won't go there. It will go that side. Okay, good, good, good. Let's go for a large rug. Let's go, why are there not more colors? There need to be so many more colors. Don't you? I'm going to have to give him a name or her. Don't you do any naughty little prezzies on that on that rug? I can see why the previous owners left him behind with all that mess and pee everywhere. And I've just inherited it. Lucky me, lucky, lucky me. Oh, I like that very much. Where are we going to put it? It's going to have to go here. That works. I oh, really you want another rug. a huge gap between it and the wall. It's a bit odd. Maybe this should be here. Aesthetically, I think that probably looks better. It's a bit random, isn't it? I don't think I can squeeze both of those in there, so... Well, that kind of works. Yeah, I think we'll go with that. Yeah, I think that makes more sense. Okay, good. Mountable air conditioner. And where does it mount and mountable go? Why is it so low? goes. AC installation. Oh, okay. I need this bit first. Of course. Of course. And then the AC itself. Got you. Got you, got you, got you. Right. That went pretty well, I've got to say. Okay. Uh. Green to green, red to red, black to black, and white to white. Pretty straightforward stuff. And that, my friends, 
I think is quite a success. I'm very happy with that, and I can't imagine how she won't be as well. Filled with food. Oh, wow. That's very cool. All right, so follow me. Let's see how well you can be trained. Still don't know why he's wearing a hat on his head. Oh, it's better shut the door. Ah, uh, see, he's not that well trained. Are you coming or what? Come on. I think we'll call him Pooper. Let's get this place cleaned up. It's a lot of mess in here. Get rid of these paw prints. Right out there. So my spidey senses tell me that these pets cannot go up and down stairs. Okay, let's give him a treat. <laughs> yeah. I don't think they can go up and down stairs, can they? Follow me. Oh, and the treat is gone. Okay, well... Mm. <sighs> Casual tug of war. Are you interested? Pet is busy. Okay, fine. Let's pick you up. Because you're clearly not going to walk down the stairs on your own, are you? Alright. So, it sells... It says, sell me Mimu wooden coffee table. So let's do that. Sell that. And the couch. Good stuff. Right, let's turn some lights on in here so I can see what the heck is going on. Uh, shut that door so the dog doesn't run away. Not that the dog seems to do much. And... Let's find the light switches. So there's one in there. And there sh there's got to be one here. There it is. Right. It, do you know what? Already it doesn't look too bad, does it? Pretty neat and tidy. Apparently there's some dirt somewhere. Over here. Oh yeah, I can see it now. Little bit over here. Not that I can actually see it. Is it on the door, the wall? The carpet? The unit? Where is it? Ceiling? No. Is it in there? I think we've done it. I think that's a hundred percent. So she wants this nice couch. which I'm going to elect to be white and gold. That looks pretty good. Coffee table. Oh, I like that. 
like that. I'm quite happy with it like that. I think that looks awesome. story uh, okay that's uh, that's looking good and uh, okay genuinely can't see what's changing color there so we'll just pick one and let's put lonk it on there what do you think little one pretty good huh so that's it job done so there's nothing to do in here Nothing to do in here. Nothing to do in here. Anything to do in the garden? Ah, she wants an amiral dove coat. Fantastic. Everything is done. Let's pick you up. Thank you for not doing any, uh, leaving any presents in our, in our client's house. Everything is done. We can leave in peace. I cannot do it whilst holding something in my hands. Okay, well, let's place him down there then. I still think, I said this before in my previous playthroughs, I still think walking to the gate and opening the gate should be, should give you an option to finish the job because that just feels more natural. But okay, let's hit the enter button. You have completed 100% of the job. You may now complete the job for $6,563.63. Are you sure you want to complete the job? Yes. I probably made a loss on that job. I don't know. That looks better. That definitely looks better. And that looks better too. Fantastic. Save that to Le Portfolio. Good work takes hard work. Right, so somewhere in here there's a little doggy. That means we need to buy a little doggy bed. Pets. All right, okay, this is what we've got. We've got a, a well and freshwater aquarium. We've got some bunny fence enclosures. Um, we've got a Gossack Iguana Terrarium. I've got to buy a bigger house. Now now that I have a pet, I need a bigger house. Um, we have a bird cage, a snake terrarium, uh, a spider terrarium, a Fondo hamster terrarium, a cuter bully guinea pig enclosure, a bunny water dispenser, a povo bunny teether, Bunny teether, bunny teether. A bunny hole. There's a lot of stuff. A bunny hay feeder. Interesting. Hay fit. The dog wants something. I don't know what the dog wants. Bunny beds. Bunny beds. Oh my god, there's a lot of stuff for bunnies. There's a lot of stuff for bunnies. Goodness me. Turtle aquarium. Cleaning table for animals. Tennis ball dog toy. I think we better buy one of them. <laughs> except, except this ball is the same size as the dog. Right. Come on then. Come on. What are we going to call the dog? Guys, let me know in the comments what I should call the dog. 
have no idea what to call the dog. Yes! The dog goes to get the ball. That is actually very cool. How are you going to pick that enormous tennis ball up, though? <laughs> no. Developers, seriously. I don't care how cool your Pomeranian is. There's no way on God's earth... that a Pomeranian can pick up a tennis ball of that size. That's just ridiculous. I do think throwing the ball and the way that the dog interacts with that is very awesome. Very impressed. Can I build external walls yet? Because I'd like to... I mean, if I could expand this house, I don't have to buy a new one. Do you know what I mean? How do I build an extension? Yeah, it's not going to work like that, is it? All right, so let's interact. Let's pet you. And uh, let's give you a treat. Let's play some casual... Alright, let's do some normal tug of war. Pet is busy. Uh, perhaps this dog doesn't do uh, tug of war. So I see that this dog now has take job. What? I'm very confused. The dog needs hygiene. So if I tick, click take the job... Oh, the dog's name is Rex. I don't think Rex is a good name for this dog. Give me some ideas and I'll change the name of the dog. Um, it's a boy, though. It's a boy dog. So, how do I... See, look, it says take job. But how do I do that? My guess is I need to get some sort of cleaning thing cleaning table that I saw is probably... yeah. Right, so let's pick you up. There isn't enough room to place the pets here. Okay. So I guess I don't need this. That's the wrong thing. I don't need that. Okay. Uh, a dog treadmill. A frisbee. Oh yeah, that's got a damn frisbee as well. Put the frisbee down, pick it up, and throw the frisbee. Go on, doggy. That's more like it. Oh no! First throw, it's gone straight through the hedge into the neighbour's garden. Oh, well done, Rex. Okay. Why won't he give me the... There we go. Go on, Rexy. That's kind of cool. I'm quite impressed with that. Uh, chew toy. Fake stick. Infinity dog toy. This is this is by the way, if you've if you've never had a pet, this is what it's like when you get a pet. In the first couple of weeks or months, you just buy loads and loads of stuff for your cat and dog and so on and so forth. Oh Rex, I'm so sorry, I did not mean to throw that at you. Right, come on, Rex. Go get it. So what happens if I throw two things? Oh, he gets distracted. But will he pick them all up? Now, nah, what are you going to do? you going to make a decision now, Rex. What are you going to do? 
it's gonna lie down. <laughs> or is he dead? Have I killed the dog? Oh no, don't tell me I've killed the dog. Rex? Oh no, he's still got the thing in his mouth. He's alright. He just needs hygiene. Alright, let me see if I can figure out how to do some hygiene. Um, it's got to be this one, isn't it? Let's put it over here. Come here, fella. Good boy. Good boy. He's even quite grubby, look. Alright, we'll pet him. Good boy. Swap to hand shower. Okay, so the little white dot is how I aim at the dog. Uh, to, to clean him, but the water goes outside when I do that. If I aim up here, that looks more... That's where it should be going. So, that we'll put that down as a bug. No needs. Excellent. Right, let's pick him up. Put him down. And we'll throw a frisbee. Ready, ready, ready. Go get it! Oh, terrible throw. Get the squeaky toy. I'm to the frisbee. We've lost the frisbee. Good boy. Good boy. Set. Okay, so I'm, I'm guessing that's a bug, right? This thing's just too big. Okay, so I am going to be critical here. Obviously, this isn't full release, but it comes out in two days' time. So I'm hoping that they have more than one size of these chewy toys. So small ones for small dogs, big ones for big dogs. And... A small dog can't pick up a tennis ball that size, so I, I want to see that in the game. Um, it does frustrate me if they don't do it, at least semi-realistically. Do you know what I mean? To some degree, I want to see a level of realism that's enjoyable. <laughs> it's just... Just given up on everything. All right, okay. Give him a treat, and uh, we'll see what else we can buy here. So, dog bowl. That kind of makes sense. Oh, do you know what we could do? Put some food in there for him. We'll see if... Oh, that's cool. And we'll see um, if we can get, like, a dog kennel. I know you think that's probably cruel and I should let him come into the house and stuff, but I'm doing it as an experiment, to be honest. So there's a cat playground. Cat toys. There's a lot of... A cat treadmill? Oh, man, I want to get one of them for my cat now. Uh... I wonder if cats and dogs get on with each other. Okay, so that looks to be all of the pet stuff. Small pets are like bunny rabbits and spiders and snakes and stuff like that. Dogs are dog stuff. So, okay, right now... If you recall... Ah. 
How many ends in kennel? Is that too many? Kennel? I know there's a kennel in here. Chicken coop, blah, blah, blah. Perhaps it's a dog house. There we go. Right, so what I want to see... Now, I don't think this doghouse is actually part of the DLC, so I think that's unique. Um, but I, I would like... Bloody hell, you're a hungry little dog, aren't you? Change to fill with water. Oh, that is that is quite cool. So now you've got a food bowl and a water bowl. But will he go in the house? I don't think he's going to interact with that house at all. Let me see if I put a bed in there. Let's try... Pets, dogs, it's the frisbee. God, that thing's huge. That's not going to fit in there, is it? No, it's enormous. <laughs> oh my God! These things are flipping huge. I've, they start me off with a Pomeranian, and then they give me beds that are big enough for me to sleep on. So this is an under bowl mat. See, everything is so big. And the under bowl... So the bowls can go outside, but the mats can't. Hmm. There's too, too many restrictions and not in the right way for my liking at the moment. I can almost fit that in there. I don't think a pee pad... What the hell is a pee pad? Well, I know what a pee pad is, but I mean, I've never heard of a pee pad. Um, okay. That's an under bowl mat. So that looks like a smaller bed. But I can't put it in the doghouse. I find that really quite disappointing. Should we just see if we can find a bigger doghouse? So that's the one we have. This is a large doghouse. No, it really is large. Crikey. I'd just like to say, anyone who's bought a doghouse like this for their dog... You've got too much money. Oh no! Oh, I've got to assemble it. Oh, okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that. That's pretty awesome. Stick that in there, that one in there, that one there, and then pop the roof on. Look at that. Change name. Oh, I can draw it. Right, so temporarily... Oh, this is cool, actually. Rex. Try that again with a bigger pen. pretty cool. Alright, so let me try and put a bed in there. It's not going to let me do it! Right, okay, so officially I'm disappointed by that. We have these dog houses, but we can't use any of them. And I just find that ridiculous. <laughs> I really genuinely do. They've already got 
some stuff in and um, rather than do anything to sort of combine them they have instead just completely ignored the fact that they already have dog houses in the game I'm not very pleased about that I think that's um, a real disappointment but uh, okay I, I kind of half suspected that we were going to have limitations, but the fact that dogs can't go up and down stairs, or so it seems, um, and the fact that you can't use the pre-existing dog houses for dogs and stuff, I think maybe that's one or two too many uh, negative points. I think the dog is brilliant. I love the way that you can chuck stuff around. I love that you can play fetch, but the tennis balls are too big. I know this isn't the final release and stuff, but that just looks silly. I mean, if it wasn't a tennis ball, if it was a soft ball, then yes, maybe you could argue that's realistic, but... Yeah. Not massively impressed with that, I'll be honest. Let's go have a look and see if we can get any other animal related jobs oh my god 31 what the heck in heck 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 are you looking for a dog companion with enough energy to handle even the longest and most challenging walks a loyal friend and a 24 7 playmate in all these cases australian shepherd is what you're looking for so they've got pugs should we just should i read the bios to you pugs mean kindness most times, merry and gentle. They are also fond of fun and frolic. Don't leave them alone for long, because they will miss you a lot. They're lazy, they're affable, they're fussy eaters, and they're dirty. Hmm. That doesn't sound like an ideal dog to me. German Shepherd. Young. That's going to get big. I nearly got killed by a German Shepherd when I was younger. A friend and I, I was around a friend's house, and it was just me, him, and his dad's dog. And his dad's dog was an ex-police dog. Um, and yeah, he, me and my friend had a, a falling out over whose turn it was on the game or something like that. So he got the dog, he got the dog to like bark and attack me and stuff, which I thought was a bit over the top. But anyway, that's for another day. Uh, German Shepherd, young personality, helper, energetic, fussy eater and affable. German Shepherds are one of the most versatile dog breeds in the world and intelligent. Confident, courageous, agile, and smart. An ideal pet companion material for everybody. A beagle. I had beagles when I was a kid. I love beagles, actually. Energetic. Well, Honey was a lazy dog, but yes, Bessie was energetic. Neat, I would say yes. Gluttonous. Honey definitely was gluttonous. And a rascal. Again, Honey, definitely a rascal. All these interesting scents around you are so tempting. No wonder beagles can often disappear, getting carried away by their incredible sense of smell. They never lose track of their loving caretakers, though. Yeah, I'd say that was true. That's quite accurate, actually, for a beagle. I've got to say. Uh, back to the Australian Shepherd. Um, okay. Border Collie. Are there two Australian Shepherds, then? Australian Shepherd Puppy... Australian Shepherd Young. Oh, okay, so they grow and they get older. That's pretty cool. All right. Border Collie. Young. Border Collies are considered to be one of the most intelligent dogs. These puppers, puppers are quite are frequent competitors in agility and obedience competitions, as well as exceptionally energetic companions. Helper, energetic, stubborn, and affable. Huskies. Oh, wow, I've always wanted a husky. Active person, you say, huh? Then a husky would be the perfect fit for you. These are strong, athletic and compassionate dogs, but make sure you spend a lot of time with them. They hate loneliness. Australian Shepherd Young. But that's the same, isn't it? Australian Shepherd... Australian Shepherd. Oh, female. So you got male or female. There's only that up there that indicates male or female. Right, okay. So there aren't huge amounts of dogs. Um, 
Oh, tutorial? Hello. Your best buddy is waiting for you at Morgan Pet Care. Press take care and name it if it's a small animal. Choose an enclosure for it and have a great time together. The pet panel. In the pet panel, you can see the information about your pet and interact with it. You can also decide if you want to take this pet on a job with you. To open the panel, ah, take to job. Take to job, I've got you. To open the panel, look at the pet and press E. Pets and jobs. You can take cats and dogs on a job with you. Take Check the take on a job option in the pet panel and you won't have to work alone anymore. Your pet will get a hat, which, oh, which will turn off its needs, its magic. So that's why he had a paper hat on his head. So he has no needs. That just looks silly. Why not a collar? Wouldn't that have made way more sense to have a collar, not a hat? And speaking of which, why are there no collars? Why are there no leads? Hmm. Each cat, dog or bunny has a unique personality. A set of traits affect the pet's behaviour and sometimes grants extra skills. To learn more about a pet, open its pet panel or see the description of Morgan's pet care before adoption. The helper trait means teamwork. If your dog has this trait and is an adult, oh my god, it will dig holes when needed and even carry the paint for you. Remember to reward it with a treat. That's quite a cool little thing. I think that's quite clever. I still think the hat's really daft. Uh, I'm not a fan of the hat, but I like the helper trait. That's pretty good. Play with your cats, dogs and bunnies to keep them happy. Open the pet panel and select a game or click E whilst looking at a toy. If you have more than one pet, all of them would want to play. Remember, cats and dogs play only with toys dedicated to them. Everyone needs to eat in order to feed a cat or dog. It's fill its bowl or a bunny. Fill its bowl by pressing E or get an automatic feeder. To give food to a smaller animal, look at its cage and press E. Remember, cats, dogs and bunnies need separate bowls. Okay. Entire days of hard work or intense relaxation can be tiring, but don't let your pet nap on the floor. There are much more comfortable places, cat tree, beds or kennels. To buy one, open the store tab on your tablet and find what you like. But they will sleep on the floor, which is good. Dogs love to play, and the more they play, the dirtier they get. To bathe your dog, pick it up, put it on a tub, or press cool dog whilst looking at the tub. It will jump in. Now bathe and dry it. Easy, right? Remember, big dogs won't fit in a small washing tub, of course. Going potty. Going potty. <laughs> like uh, Cats like to do their business in a little litter box. Kittens. Kittens, maybe. Dogs can use a mat but prefer to go outside. None of them can do everything from birth. Puppies and kittens need some patience. Sometimes they'll make a little mess, but they're so cute you'll forgive them easily. Pet hotel. You can place your pets in the pet hotel whenever you need. For example, when you're buying them a new enclosure or moving your office. Don't worry, Morgan will take care of them until you're ready to pick them up. If you ever feel like you lost your pets, don't panic. Check the pet hotel at Morgan's Pet Care. It may be waiting for you there. So if a pet goes missing, they'll turn up at the pet hotel. Okay. So we got cats. A Bengal. A British kitten. That's a cool kitten right there. Another Bengal. A Norwegian. A Bombay. A Bengal. A Bengal. Lots of Bengals. Bunnies. We've just got one bunny. Not even different colours. Or perhaps they just randomly get different colours. Who knows? Rodents. Guinea pig. Adult guinea pig. Male and female. A hamster. Another guinea pig. Another hamster. Okay. Reptiles. Oh my gosh, look at this. We've got an iguana. An adult iguana. Or a turtle. <laughs> look at that fat, cheesy smile on his face there. <laughs> Alright, what birds have we got? We have a parrot. So 
So we have male and female parrots, they don't get older. We have fish, we have angelfish. That's it, we have two angelfish, male and female. An egg-eating snake. And another egg-eating snake. The male and female snakes. <laughs> and a female adult spider. Oh my god, that's making me feel... Freaked out right now. So let's let's get something. Let's get a bunny. Name of the bunny is going to be Bugsy. doing Rex there we go All right let's fill his uh, bowl with food let's fill his water thing with water did that do it? I think it must have done it. So he's going to bed. Guess we ought to buy a bed. We'll put it over here by the radiator. That way if he wants to go to sleep, he can. He needs sleep. Okay, well let's pick him up. Oh, look at his little face. Oh, he's tired, look. There is not enough room to place this pet here. Oh, come on. He can't fit in that bed. He can fit in that bed. All right, let's get another bed, just in case he, he genuinely can't. It's just huge. It's too big for my house. Where's he gone? So he's outside. Hmm. Just need a little bed. Just a little bed. So that's enormous. There's no way that dog needs that bed. See where he goes. See what he does. So the rabbit's still running about. I thought he was going to do. Uh, I thought he was going to do a wee in his bowl then. <laughs> Um, okay, so I can't figure out how to get him to go to sleep right now. We'll just pop that there. And we'll see what he picks. We'll see which one he goes to. I think that little bed is, is plenty big enough. Why isn't it called a dog bed? Why aren't they all called dog bed? And then you could just type in dog bed. Oh, look. Where did these extra beds come from? Pillow dog bed small. What the hell is a rabbit doing indoors? <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Right, come on, pick a bed. There's three beds there, pick one. show his bottom to the water before he drinks it that's that's weird they did say there were going to be bugs so maybe these are just bugs i don't know well they seem to be getting on pretty well i mean they eat and drink really quickly 
And you can see the rabbit there is not actually anywhere near that water funnel, which is a bit disappointing. Hopefully they fix that in the uh, in the release. Right, let's see if I can actually pick him up. Oh, that's weird. It's just following him now. So let's pick him up. I can't pick him up because it's in the middle of an animation. Okay. Right, let's pick him up. Look at his tired little face. Oh, You're such a silly puppy. Come and get into that bed. All right, excellent. So that one is too small. And I can put him into either of these, but I have to do it. There we go. We got there in the end, guys. Right, so. I wonder if rabbits can go in this one. This, this. He has no needs, but. Oh, you can tell the rabbit to follow you as well. It's a bit random. Now, there's a bed in there. Yeah. Mm. Perhaps he's just not tired. Nope, I can't put him in there. Rex disappeared into that bed then for a second. We'll just leave him to his own devices and see how he gets on. Oh, he needs some happiness. Why is he not happy? Got no need at all now, he's happy. Right, well, stay in your bed, buddy. That's my advice. Oh, he's got out of his bed, so they don't sleep for very long. Put it there by the radiator. Come on, Rexy. I know what you want. You want some oversized tennis ball play, don't you? Good boy. Right. Let's have a look and see what else we can get. Pets. Pets, 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 pets. I could put like a, a rabbit enclosure over here. Ah, but it's it's red, which means I can't place it there. It says scroll to change size, but it doesn't... See, th these are the uh, these are the things that the devs need to see, is... You know, you would think you buy it, you place it, and away you go, but no, apparently not. So let's start with a gate. See, I can't even put a gate down. So you've got to go indoors. Oh, there's a bunny hole. Lots of different patterns and stuff. My God, that thing is huge. So anyway, the rabbit's got somewhere to... Um, 
Oh, that's cool. Yeah. He barks when he wants some more water. So let's get him another bowl. So, okay, you need to get the right kind of bowl for the right kind of animal. There you go, Rexy. No needs, I think he's a happy dog. Let's check on Le Rabbit. No needs, okay. Good stuff. Should we grab? Let's go. Oh, actually, I can't remember how I got to the Morgan's pet care. Okay, bunnies, rodents. Let's get a cat. Let's do a cat. Let's go for a British kitten. We'll call him Sooty. Hello, city. Look, look at that smiley face. Ah, oh, bless. So, uh, give a treat. Notice that the cat treats are shaped like fish. Now we'll pet the cat. Ah, oh, yeah. Play with yarn. pretty cool right so now we need some catty type things and I've already run out of space uh, what I'm gonna do sell my bed because we actually don't need a bed in this game so it's a waste of time having it let's put a cat thing down let's go pets cats Ah, a hanging playground. That sounds pretty darn cool. Gee whiz, that thing is enormous. Why is everything so damn big in this game? Even the little one is, like, preposterously huge. Can't even fit it in there. Bloody hell. Right, let's find. Well, I want to do the. Uh, so many things. Cat Avery. Let's do the treadmill. Wow, that thing is enormous. That's just crazy big. Oh look, Rex has gone to chill out all by himself. What does this cat need? Nothing. Play with a feather rod. Oh yeah, he's well interested in that, isn't he? Oh, I gotta press the button, that's why. That's a funny noise for a mouse to make. Keeping the cat entertained though. Okay. So let's pick him up. And can we place him in there? So I can't do anything when I've got a pet in my hand. I can open and close doors, but I can't open and close windows. Alright. Um, 
I see. So I can't put the cat in the treadmill. Such a weird thing. Let's see if we... Let's see if we can get a Minosa cat tree. Go for something a bit... What am I changing there? I don't see anything change. Okay, let's go with that. Again, that is preposterously big. Why is it? Why is the scale so completely out of control in this game? Let's pick you up. You can even get the cat to follow you. Oh, who's done a little present on the floor then? I bet it was the mouse. So I can't put the cat on the bed. On this climbing frame thing. Okay. Certainly this house is not big enough for pets. Oh god, that's awful. We do, we do whoopsies outside, sooty. That's what the outside is for, okay? I suppose, to be fair, I haven't got a cat toilet, have I? Oh man, there's so many things you got to think of when you get a pet. Such a, such a huge commitment. Okay, I've put that upside down, but never mind. Pretty sure the cat isn't going to mind. And I see a little bed. Oh man, why is the cat bed so pre preposterously huge? That is just ridiculously big. Why does it have to be so massively overscaled? That's ridiculous. You would not have a cat bed that size in your house. No way at all. And there's no little beds. Mm, I, I find the limitations quite frustrating. That is a perfect size bed for a cat. Look, I have one down here, look. Oh, it looks like one of my cameras has died. It does that. Let me see if I can fix it. 